so between now and the last episode I did a bunch of uh, skirmishes off camera and I leveled up all my troops to uh, level 11 so now they're all elite and I also uh, used the money I got to buy some weapons so let me go mess around with that for a bit uh, make sure I get everything that I want that's fine let's see who else maybe give her yeah And then for Rosie... Let's see, what would be good? Oof. Yeah, I guess this is okay for now. And they're stuck on those. And let's see... Dean has one, alright. Hmm, this is good for now, I guess. And finally, our snipers. Uh, yeah, GSR. Alright, let's check out this one. Hmm, do I want the range? Or do I want the persons? Hmm. This is a tough one. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll stick with what I got. Alright. So we're going to do chapter 11. Everybody gather around. I've got our orders. The target is on Goliath's northern coast. Enemies entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. That's a good one. Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin, any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. A way to... Blind them. Ah, uh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. I'm bad on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. If we could... Hmm. They may not need nine lives. Mm. 
That mission sounds like a real bitch. I guess we'll find out soon. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Hey now, do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? The reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? Yes, but no. The feast of all spirits is the day all the spirits in Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize! For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. How gracious of you to say. Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. Margo, Rosie, may I have a moment? Sure. Surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Would you accept these gifts? This is... from before. These dolls are Darks and Good Luck Charms. I wanted to give them to you and Rosie. Why to us? I... I've always wanted to be your friend, from the first day. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I'd like to use the feast as an opportunity to grow a little closer to both of you. She wants a threesome. I see. No. Seeing Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Plus, I... You know... I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now, too. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded. Thanks for the lucky charm. And for coming out here, Isara. Largo, thank you so much. I... I can't take it. Rosie, you ain't a kid here. Quit being so damn stubborn already. You shut up! I just... Look, I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? Uh, she's still with that. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I think I'm done too. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, dammit. Look, shut up. I know, okay? I know, but I... I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. Just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welcome. Oh. What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. It's not a bug, is it? Motherfucker. That's... You found a model vagabond. Yeah. They're migratory butterflies, but... They shouldn't be in Kalia at this time of year. This dude is sickeningly obsessed with bugs. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but... Never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans got it. My world. You and Hans? 
Wait, is all that dirt? You just said that she was covered in dirt earlier. <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Fucking bugs. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia, thanks for the bug. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier as the sentence. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, welcome? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. Too bad the feast is tomorrow. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Seriously, a fucking bug. All right, whatever. Sora, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. Get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Sara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. But don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Yeah, I've never seen the anime, so... But I've heard that this mission is gonna be a pain. And... Judging from the first little... Episode up here... It sounds like it's gonna be a pain. Like basically charging uphill... With very little to no protection while you get shot at by machine guns and stuff. Ugh... Does not sound good. I mean, luckily I leveled up all my guys to level 11, so they're now all elite, but hopefully that does something. Alright, let's jump into this. Hey boss, we uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welts, it's done! You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Okay. Can you just finish them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? That might help us. The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welts, little Hans, too. I don't want... None of you can die. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. 
Shut up, you racist. Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad seven, move out. I feel like Alicia just jinxed us. Let's see how this battle's gonna go. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Alright, the enemies entrench behind hefty defenses along the top of the sheer rock face. The only path to the enemy lies across this beach. We began at the sentry point and work your way toward the enemy camps. Alright. Objective is to occupy the enemy's base. Climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for that camp. There are two things to look out for along the way. One is the enemy machine gun appointments all along the coast. Ugh, I don't like the sound there. Use your tank as a shield and keep the smoke screen around. It's coming if you want to arrive in one piece. Alright. Second issue is the concrete defensive bunkers that lie beyond the crest of that slope. Incredibly resistant to attack, it may take quite some time to take out. It'll slow you down. You do have a weakness though, you can do major damage to them by attacking the gun at the front of the rear doors. They may, all, they may well have backup stores of Ragnite fuel out back, so if a well placed gunshot should be able to set it off. Okay. If you shock troopers that class up to at least by now, you can also use a flamethrower to take them down. Which. Luckily we did, so we do have the flamethrowers. Even though uh, I found them kind of pointless in skirmishes, maybe they're good for certain situations like this. I guess we'll find out. The flamethrowers are only effective against crouching foes. Okay, maybe that might be it. Keep that in mind as you plan your attack. Alright. So yeah, welcome dies. The occupier. Ba the enemy never seems to try to occupy our base camp, so I don't know why that failure option is always there so now it's soldiers reserves a kill 20 turns pass Ugh. all right let's do this all right Actually, this should be fine for now. All right, let's try this, I guess. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Clear out the Imperial shoreline defenses. Squad seven, move out. Rounds at the ground or at objects, not at the enemy. That should spread the smoke screen around that area. Got it. I'll do what I can. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right. This is our first off with you, Saka. Good to have you. Except we've used them a bunch of times in skirmishes, but yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. 